These cute fluffy animals may look like sheep, but they are not. They are in fact Angora goats and their fluffiness is a much sought after textile fiber called mohair. South Africa currently produces about half of the world's mohair. Simpiwe and Linda Fani ran a grocery store before they decided to venture into the mohair business two years ago. The Fani brothers began their business using these goats known as capatas. They are castrated rams. They are used purely for their mohair. Now, the younger the goat, the finer the hair. Shearing the goat is a delicate operation and is done twice a year. And with more hair prices rising, some farmers are hoping to cash in. More hair is giving you profits before you slaughter it. We find out there's more income, a double income than the cattle. From the farms, the more hair is brought to the city of Port Elizabeth, where international buyers attend auctions and bid for the finest fiber for their garments. Mohe South Africa, the industry body that markets and promotes the fiber around the world, has set up a trust aiming at attracting farmers into mohe production. What we're seeing is a huge interest and renewed interest in Angora goat farming, specifically from, from black farmers and emerging farmers who want to enter mohe. It's, it's a profitable industry to, to, to go into and, and go into livestock farming. What we must remember is that a lot of these farmers also grew up on um, livestock farms and got huge skills and expertise in livestock farming. So for them it's a huge opportunity to, to now actually farm commercially with Angora goats, which they never might have had uh, beforehand. Many manufacturers say Europe is their biggest market, with Japan coming a close second. Our blankets are, are probably our biggest and mainstay um, product type. So we, we sell and export approximately 50,000 blankets a year. So we're concentrating a lot on Europe with our warehouse in Germany, which is able to distribute within days uh, ready-made product. The same formula we intend on applying to the United States uh, in due course and potentially also the Far East. With young designers such as Latumang Okolo showcasing more hair garments on international catwalks, it seems demand for the fiber can only go higher. Tauraima Duna, BBC News.